Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. This morning I am going to do some dip nails. So I did my left hand last night and I'm using the collection from CN Designer Dips. The purple is nightshade and it does glow. Then we have Toxic, which is this one. And then we have the chunk, sorry, the chunky glitter is Fang. And it's this really beautiful dark greens, kind of blackish. And then that chartreuse kind of color. And I didn't use these, but I have um, looked at them. This one is, this is part of the same collection, Venom. This is Glow. It goes really nicely with Fang. And it glows in the dark. And we have Acronite. Ac Acronite. Acronite. I can't read that. And it's this really nice purple chunky glitter. I will be using this one today. And then this was an oopsie that they included in the box. And it's like a shimmery pink. It's really nice. And we have Pick Your Poison. It's a chunky glitter with that chartreuse color in it as well. And then we have the Oleander. It's the pink, just a solid pink, and it is another glow. So this is the Pick Your Poison collection, collection from CN Designer Dips. And let's see, I'm trying to find their little buckets I had them in. All right, so what I did on this hand was purple, purple, Toxic, Venom, well, I say purple, Nightshade, 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 Toxic, Fang, Nightshade. So I was thinking about doing the opposite on this hand and doing the three that are, yeah, these, these three I'm going to do in Toxic, and then I'm going to do this one in Nightshade, and then this one in the, um... I can't read the, that writing ac aconite, the purple glitter. So I think that's how I'm going to do it. I am using Model 1's dip liquids. Um, when I did this hand last night, it was the first time I've used Model 1's dip liquids. I, I mean, I know some people like them, but then I've heard a lot of negatives about them. So I kind of stayed away, but then I decided to give them a try because they're, you know, easily accessible and fast delivery on Amazon and, you know, affordable. So I did try to give them a try. I do get dip flu with some liquids, and that was one of the reasons why I was hesitant to try them. And... um. I did I did get a little bit of a runny nose <coughs> and I'm saying that no I cough but I um it's early in the morning here so I usually cough in the morning but um but I decided to try them last night and I mean they went on beautifully I was pleasantly surprised and you know feel there was no reason for me to stay away from them so I decided to go ahead and I film this one for today. I am going to do the nightshade first on this finger because the toxic, this fine glitter is super fine and it goes everywhere. I'm still a mess. Even though I cleaned everything, I can still see it shimmering everywhere. So I'm going to use this one first and do those three last. So I am going to use um, Peel Base. This is UNT. Um, I don't have very good luck with Peel Base. I either, let me close this because oh, I forgot to do this. I meant to do it before I started. Um, so with Peel Base, yeah, that's smooth. I either have pop-offs within a couple hours to a day or I can't like some of them pop off immediately and then some of them 
I still have to like soak off when I did soak before I started filing off. Um, so I'm trying again. I'm just putting, I'm avoiding the cuticle and the sides. I'm putting a thin layer just kind of in the middle to the free edge and uh, I am going to let these dry for a good 10 minutes because I've read that um, you you want to keep it away from your sides to get a better adhesion, but then you want to um, make sure it's fully dry so that then when you are ready to take them off, they do come off. So... Um, again, I've read that if you don't let them, the peel base dry very well before starting your application, that's what causes them to not want to pop off like they're supposed to. So I'm going to give this a good 10 to 15 minutes to dry and I will be back. Okay, I'm back. It's been, I think, enough time for my peel base to fully dry. So let's get started. I apologize if you hear a runny nose from time to time. Like I said, I do, oops, I do get dip flu. So I am I am doing this on my with my non-dominant hand, so it may look a little awkward at times. I apologize. So I have a very thin amount on my brush. I'm having my hand, my finger at a downward angle, and then I'm putting that first swipe down the middle, and then I kind of swipe down the sides, and then I kind of just gently come back and thin out the base closer to the cuticle. And then pour over. I always pour over twice just to make sure that I got that coverage. And it looks like I have a pretty clean cuticle line. So I, when I started out, I was really frustrated because um, I didn't get enough close to that side. That's okay though. We can fix that. Um, Using just like an orange wood stick or whatever to clean up my cuticle line. I just, it didn't work for me. They weren't pointy enough. And so I now buy metal. This is actually considered a cuticle pusher on Amazon is how it's listed. I would not use this to push my cuticles back. This is very thin and sharp. But for dipping, it has two great uses. So this side is awesome. It's so pointy to get super clean and it's metal so you can just like wipe it off and then if it does harden you can just pick it off and this is really good for when you're doing the chunky glitters like kind of holding them down in place for you know a second if you need to okay so this one is gonna be the ring finger I am gonna pour some out into the jar because I do the lay-in method first. So onto the ring finger. Again, I'm not in the correct position. I don't start at the cuticle. I start a little bit away. And do my swipes. I'm gonna wipe off some excess. Seems like I had a lot. And then just kinda And you want to keep your finger pointed down when you're using dip. All right. <laughs> My left finger is always so awkward doing that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, so you want to do the lay-in method when you're using chunky glitters because... Otherwise, if you do the pour over method, the, all the powder and the small bits stick and then you don't get any of the big pieces. So, and I'm just trying to pick off some of those bigger pieces that I don't want. And 
I don't want any of the glitter um, like overhanging the cuticle area. I'm trying to be careful with that sore. <clears throat> so in a couple of my videos recently, um, I've had some comments saying that they can't hear me. Like one person says they don't hear me very well. And then in another video, another commenter um, let me know that sometimes the audio is off. And so I went back to that video and I listened to it. And sure enough, like it was like going up and down. But when I went back to the edited video, it didn't do that. The, the video in the editing software, it didn't do that. And so I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know what I did wrong. I've been having audio problems for a while now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So one thing I did was order, um, an external microphone, like one of the, um, lapel style. And I need to, I just tried to open it because I just got it. And I realized that it is um the lightning adapter and i need USB C, so i have to return it and get another one so i just brushed off the excess dust on the purple and then i used a stiff brush and just kind of very gently did it you can see i was a little light-handed with the base so the dip is a little bit patchy and that's okay we'll go in with a thicker thicker coat this time and make sure we get it covered. Oops. All right. <clears throat> I do apologize for the throat clearing it seems like this morning this is affected me a little bit more than it did yesterday excuse me <coughs> okay I'm done with this one. I do two layers of color and then I do two layers of clear. So you'll see that in a second. I am going to go ahead and brush this one off now. and do another coat of that. I am gonna go in with a much thicker base coat on this just so that it gets in all the nooks and crannies. Making sure nothing's in my brush. I love tan is so goofy. I'm trying to just get off some of these bigger ones.
A piece of glitter is sitting right on top of that boo-boo. Now that the glue is mostly dried, I can pat everything down so that it's not too lumpy. And we'll see what sticks. And if you get any on your skin, just like a little bit that I did, like right there on the free edge, just those little bits, you just take a file and just gently go over it and it just usually pops them right off. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Oop, almost did it the opposite way. Oh boy. This is like the third time I've spilled this one because they fill these jars with magic, as you can see. They're like so overfilled and it's wonderful, but very hard to get things back in. Right. So let me dust this into my little jar over here. good so that, those little bits right there I can't get them because I don't want to rub too hard okay so that's good now I'm gonna dust off the purple and I'm gonna go ahead and dust off that glitter I think it's me f messing around cleaning okay. just very lightly this hasn't been activated yet so it's not hard so you don't want to be too rough. Okay. I am going to use <clears throat> CN Designer Dips Ultra Clear 2020. <coughs> I usually transfer some of this to a smaller jar. Like I have like a smaller jar that I labeled and put some in, but this one has bits of glitter in it. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I used it last night and a couple speckles from something else got in there and I didn't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and use the jar and do the pour in method, pour over method again. I'm getting my dip. I'm going to use a generous amount of liquid. Same thing. Start away from the cuticle, go down the middle and then come back out, come back up. I mean, and thin it out along the, cuticle and sidewall so you don't get um <clears throat> any on you oops well okay let's go ahead and do this okay And my husband and I have a date today. We're having lunch at um, see I can just use this to kind of like even it out. We're having lunch and we're going to see Beetlejuice. 
And as you can see, I cut off all my nails. I didn't even talk about that. Um, I hated that milky white builder gel I had on. I did not like it. And so, all right, I'm going to go ahead and, whoa, getting away from me. It was, I was not happy with it. So I decided just to, I started taking it off and like filing it off. And I don't know what came over me, but um, I suddenly decided to chop them all off to nubbies. And that's what I did. And I'll be honest, like, I don't like having really short nails like this. But at the same time, when you have, like, the overlays, like, I have very small, I have small nail beds. But I also have naturally very thin, fragile nails, which is why I do overlays and stuff on them. Because they're, they're so delicate. It's been like that my whole life. So um, having builder gel and dip and stuff on them for any length of time, they start feeling, like, heavy and like I start feeling pressure so when I took them off it was like ah such a relief <clears throat> all right now we're gonna go into toxic and um this color is toxic it's um a mess you'll see it's immediately everywhere you can't see it on the camera but just touching the container it is flying everywhere <music> trying to get as much off my hands as possible so that I don't have anything to get on my activator bottle. All right. So generous layer of activator. So I didn't do it this time, but mainly because I was on the phone talking with my nail friend when I was doing my other hand. And I forgot, actually, but what I usually do is my color. I usually do my two, two or three, however many layers of color you're going to do. And then I activate, let that dry and everything, and then I go in with my two layers of clear and then activate again. 
Um, but I didn't do it on this hand. And so I didn't do it on the other one either. But we'll see how this works. Okay. So the activator has to harden now and dry. And then we can file and buff. I really like this model ones, files 100, 180 grit. And then I really like these like little mini buffer blocks. They're just easy to control and handle. So I'm not gonna do all of them on camera, but I'm just gonna come in and clean up my shape a little bit. This little edge got away from me. I kind of created a bump. <clears throat> Filing is not my strong suit. But first, I want to clean up those edges before I work on the top. Dipping is a trust the process type of deal. I mean, they look all lumpy and bumpy and kind of funky and dull, but once you do all your magic, you see, you see the vision come to life. Oh, this one's actually really clean. Doing anything with my non dominant hand is awkward. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So I'm going to gently just trying to show you what I'm doing. Go along that cuticle line to kind of smooth it out. Blend it in so you don't have that, um, like, see the big lump on this one? Because I have it, this little notch right here. This one had it too, but I'm gently filing and blending it in. And you never want to focus on one area too much. Like you want to go back and forth because you'll overfile one side and then have to go back and make the other side match and then back and forth, back and forth. I learned that lesson. All right. So I spray with alcohol twice and use my brush and just really get in under around. how they look right now and I, I let the alcohol dry completely for a minute or so and then I'll go in with activator and again generous layer of activator Okay. Get a new piece of paper towel because 
You do not want to contaminate your um, top coat bottle with activator because it will harden. So I'm guessing it's the same for model ones. It's what I did with um, the other hand. So usually you'll go in with minimal swipe. So for my pinky, I only need two quick swipes. Wipe off your brush. And then for this one, I'll do one, two, three. Wipe off before going back in the bottle. Okay, I messed that one up because I started fiddling with it. Wipe it off really good. You wipe off um, the top coat brush before you put it back in the bottle every time, no matter what. Because if any of that activator transfers to the brush and then you put it in your bottle, your brush will get hard as a rock and you contaminate your top coat and it won't work right. So that is the reason behind doing that. And that's why you do just a few swipes and that's to get um, just your initial top coat on and avoid the activator. So I'm gonna flip this around to a clean side and check the all right the pinky's already hard so now you can go in and if you need to fine tune and clean up like really get that top coat done like now you have less chances of getting an activator on that brush and contaminating anything I'm still gonna wipe off every time just because that's a habit I got into. That way I never forget to do it. If you're going for longevity with your dip, it is a good idea to cap your free edge with your top coat. I don't do that because, well, I'm not doing it for this one because I'm not concerned about that. I'm going in with, um, I mean, I went in with peel base, so I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> All right, I can dispose of that, and that's the final look. It um, happy coincidence that this is the colors that I was doing when my husband asked to go see Beetlejuice, and um, yeah, I could Beetlejuice it up some more and do some other like little things on it, some nail art, but I'm not. I'm gonna stay simple. I'm gonna leave it like this, and. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure that it's all dry and hard and properly. And it is.
So that's it. It used to take me about three to four hours to dip my hands. And um, this only took me a little over an hour. Um, and that was from like little distractions and different things. Um, it'll obviously when you see this stuff will be edited out, but yeah. So, so far model one's liquids are awesome. Yeah. They seem to work really good. Now I, um, you can hear me sniffling and clear in my throat and I will say I live in Southwest Florida, so I do have allergies almost all the time. Um, when I started recording this video, it was very early in the morning. Um, it was still dark out and I tend to have like a lot of coughing and stuff anyway in the mornings, but, um, this did give me mild dip flu. I've had other brands that, um, give me what's called dip flu, like severely because it's, um, and it's called dip flu because it's dip liquids and you get almost flu like symptoms. I mean, you don't run a fever or anything, but it's similar. So one last thing I'm going to do is spray my hands with some alcohol to get everything off, get them clean. Hopefully that glitter is still everywhere. And then also from CN Designer Dips, I got Bewildering Blooms. This is their cuticle oil and I love their roller balls. They don't leak and it comes out. Um, it's not too runny, but I don't have to sit here and like roll, roll, roll to get the juice out. And that's it. You just roll it over. And I can't believe I cut myself. I'm buffing. So get my, get my cuticle juice on. Massage that in. So there we go. There's the finished look. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.